Hi everybody, welcome back to the business grind. Uh, today we're gonna go into the next section here which is called Be Humble, Curious and Ready to Learn. Uh, this is part of the due diligence chapter and so this is um, another another trait that you should check or another uh, due diligence you should do on yourself um, is this is kind of the main uh, chapter that's what it talks about doing diligence on yourself first and foremost so be humble curious and ready to learn to see what this is all about so uh, Mike uh, here begins by making a point that arrogance and, and ignorance are the ingredients um, in the worst tasting bowl of slop ever produced as he puts it and so anyone who believes that they have the answers is destined for a proverbial train wreck so what what he begins talking about is the fact that a lot of people when they come into owning a business the, the one of the main enemies is thinking that you know it all and and perhaps what adds to that is being arrogant about it too and he makes the point that it's really important to be humble and know know that uh, that you don't know know that there's a lot of things you don't know and you probably don't even know what those things are and so it's important that when you get into a startup you become like a sponge and are willing to learn and are open to listen to other people's opinion and um, are willing to grow and so he makes uh, some very good uh, points here um, so for instance he says they know how much they don't know about making it successful they are committed to learning and growing both themselves and their business so in order to become successful in, in this endeavor you should probably be committed to learning how to grow the business and so uh, he obviously uses Big B Coffee as, as sort of the ground to this discussion and he draws on a lot of examples in that. Um, Big B Coffee is a franchise company uh, just like Milkster and so um, he says that they were able to, to kind of uh, see this all the time, people coming in many times with uh, having an experience in other businesses and saying hey I am gonna knock this out of the park because I already understand business and <clears throat> he makes the point of saying that you may understand business and you're probably good at what you did there in uh, your previous life but you don't know coffee uh, and we we do we've done it for many many years and there's a reason why the system works the way it works and so many people come in saying well I can change this and about your system I could do this better and then um, maybe years into it many many uh, lessons uh, hard lessons learned you figure out that there's a reason why the system was set up that way so so what Mike uh, is saying is for instance if you were to buy a franchise and start a new franchise take it and treat it like kind of like a degree like a, a master's degree for two years try to get into just learning the system that was given to you and and really understanding it thoroughly and, and so <clears throat> a lot of people come in kind of bypassing all of that and, and kind of beginning to uh, implement their own strategies that they have thought about only to learn the hard way that you know that certain certain systems were put in place for a reason and so he's saying take take the first two years and essentially 730 days as as just a, a learning curve in understanding what to do uh, because because that um, that you know two years is like almost like a master's degree at the end of the two years you're kind of ready now to start actually building your business and that's what he makes a point at if you're starting a business from scratch not entering a franchise the process may be longer maybe even double 
And so obviously we're biased towards franchises because we're involved in that and we understand how much work went into that and to putting a system, how many mess how many lessons learned went into putting together a system. It's it you know, it, it could be I don't know, as an example, drawing a line here um, versus five inches further. Uh, and that, you know, thousands of hours may have gone into that line as to why you need to start working from here or start placing your cup here versus there. And a lot of people take that for granted, uh, but I can guarantee you many, many uh, discussions uh, went into why the line's there and not on the other side or, you know, further down. And so I agree that many people come in very arrogant and saying, yeah, I know how to do this better but we're not really experienced, at least not in this field. And so that, so he's saying at the very least, maybe maybe you have some great ideas, but start humbly and willing to learn and open to learn. And then at the end of the two years, when you, you, you've really gone through the system, he makes the point that I'm very open to sit down and talk to you about what you found out that we could do better. You know, but, but take at least the, sort of the two years to really understand and learn and then try to grow the business from there after the two years. Um, he's saying that um, it took Bob and him about seven years to really learn the business and, and get to where um, they are, you know, to where they could grow it efficiently. Um, so one, one main point in here is there's like a gut check. Are you prepared to commit years of your life to the educational process, learning the business in order to prepare yourself to increase the value of your asset after this initial period. Are you humble enough to admit that you don't know this business and you have a ton to learn? So, especially when you're getting into a franchise, I think that's the attitude you gotta come with. I think you have to come with passion towards what you're doing. Uh, hopefully you, you, you got into the business, whether it's ice cream or coffee, because you have a passion towards that. And hopefully when you, this two years will fly by because you're enjoying learning about it. And so if you got into it thinking perhaps without any kind of passion towards this, serving people, uh, maybe, you know, understanding what it takes to make a good cup of coffee and actually enjoying that process, you may be in the wrong business. So, so I think he, he makes a, a point of that. Um, so... If you go into an attitude, well, in my two year, in, in the first two years, I'm gonna get my investment back. I don't care what other people do. I, I'm smarter than them. I think you're 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 bound to get yourself in some trouble. He uses a quote here by Socrates, uh, and he says, "I know, I know that I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing." And so I think that's that's a good principle, not just in franchising or in business, but in general in life. I, I personally agree in a, that when I talk to people, um, I do try to listen. Uh, hopefully you agree with that. Uh, because if you don't listen, then you're not learning. Um, and I feel like when you listen, you get to learn. If you hurry up and give the answer right away, and maybe you know the answer, First of all, you're not respecting the other person's time. And second of all, you may be missing some valuable information that people can give you. So anyway, I think it's important to be humble and listen to people. So another big highlight here that I made is if you admit that you know little about the business and commit yourself to learning every nuance, then you're starting from a healthy place and your chances of success go up dramatically. And so I would say this is a big takeaway from this chapter. Um, Think about yourself, think about what you're like, uh, and as you approach this startup, whether it's a franchise or, or, or even in a, in a business, a different type of business, um, really in the first two years, you, you can't say you're an expert, probably. I, I highly doubt that. Um, and so you you should be willing to listen to anybody that has anything to say about the subject because you get to learn from them. Uh, you get to learn even from the people that didn't have success in it. And I would say, I would argue that you probably learn more from them why, you know, why they didn't have success and about, you know, things that maybe they failed at because you get to learn from other people's mistakes, probably a lot more than from successful things. Uh, because when somebody has success, 
you may not know all the ins and outs why that happened. They may not tell you all the details that went into it. They may give you the broad, uh, the broad picture. But anyway, um, so I, I think this is this is a huge takeaway. And so in the last uh, couple of pages here, he goes into um, an example. Um, he talks about a gentleman who came into the Big V system. Um, and said, hey, I'm gonna kind of show these guys how it's done. And he opened up a new store. He had some extra funds from fam a previous family business and kind of said, hey, I'll, I'm gonna show you how it's done. And he basically did a ton of things that are against the policies of, of what Big B Coffee was advising people to do. Um, and pretty much went into the areas with the most expensive rent, hired a very expensive manager to run the business, um, all to, all basically not part of the Big B system or advice, advisement and you know, what to do when you start a store. Um, needless to say, the sales were not there at the very beginning and so of course there was he was struggling but rather than sort of you know getting down to business and getting his hands dirty and, and figuring out what to do he went ahead and bought a second location with even more expensive rent and now he took his eye off the first store and let the manager handle it and started working on the second store and again, when it opened, it, it opened very flatly and with a big thud, as Mike puts it. Um, and it was a, within six months, um, it was a huge problem uh, for both stores now. And needless to say, uh, not much into it, maybe uh, a year into it, he, he sold both stores at a loss. And it was very upset with, obviously, Big B Coffee, as he puts it, gave us the middle finger. Um, you know, as if they they were you know sort of the ones that advised them in this which obviously that was not the case uh, they advised them not to go about it this way but anyway the point is that it's important to know that there's a ton of things you don't know and you should be willing to learn um, in in business in a startup especially so uh, I think it's a very good uh, uh, chapter I think it's a very good uh, lesson to learn. I think this is a this is something that applies in life in general, not just the business. Uh, to be wise and listen to other people. So, hope you get a lot out of this, and see you in the next uh, next section.